find the equivalent resistance between the terminals A and B. This is the given network and this is terminal A and this is terminal B and we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance between the terminals A and B. Now pause the video and analyze the given network. As you observed in this network with this arrangement we cannot see series or the parallel combination of resistors and therefore we will name the nodes present in this network and we will reconstruct this network from the scratch. This terminal is terminal A therefore this node here is node A and this node here is node B. Let's say this node is node C and this node here is node D. Now we will reconstruct our network. This is node A, this is node B, this is node C and this is node D. And you can see that in the original network between A and C we have 1 ohm resistor. So let's connect 1 ohm resistor between A and C. Then between A and D we have another 1 ohm resistor. So let us connect 1 ohm resistor between A and D and then between C and B we have 1 ohm resistor. Therefore we will connect 1 ohm resistor between C and B. Then between B and D we have 1 ohm resistor. Between B and D we have 1 ohm resistor and then between C and D we have this 1 ohm resistor. And you can see that in our original network we are done with all the 5 resistors. So this is our new network and here we can see that we have a balanced bridge. We have the balanced bridge because when you multiply 1 with 1 and when you multiply 1 with 1 you will get 1 and therefore the bridge is in balanced state and we know when the bridge is in balanced state this node and this node have the same potential and therefore the potential difference across this resistor is equal to zero and therefore the current through this resistor is equal to zero as well. This means if we connect a voltage source across the terminals A and B then the total current will feel no obstruction due to this resistor. And hence it will not contribute to our equivalent resistance. Therefore we can remove this resistor. And now you can see that we have two resistors in series then two resistors in series and then they are in parallel. Therefore our equivalent resistance is equal to 1 plus 1 then 1 plus 1 and then they are in parallel. So R sub AB is equal to 2 parallel with 2. Therefore the equivalent resistance is equal to 2 multiplied to 2 divided by 2 plus 2. So finally we are getting the equivalent resistance as 1 ohm. This is our answer. And from here we are getting one very good shortcut. The shortcut is whenever we have the bridge in which the four resistors have the same value then the equivalent resistance will also have the same value. So remember this trick. Now we will move on to the homework problem. In the homework problem you are required to find the equivalent resistance between the terminals A and B. Terminal A terminal B calculate the equivalent resistance and once you have your answer posted in comment section. Now I will end this lecture here see you in the next one.